Greetings, and welcome to Oro Commerce's video tutorial series. This is Rhonda with Oro Inc., and today I'll be demonstrating how to create customers from the back end using Oro Commerce. Oro Commerce caters to companies who may purchase bulk supplies or who are suppliers to other retailers and wholesalers. Customers of an Oro Commerce store can create a company account and create and manage their own users for their company with a limited set of permissions depending on the role. Users are able to review orders, manage users and permissions, request quotes, and more. Additionally, store owners can create custom price lists for individual customers, partners, wholesalers, and more. In Oro Commerce terms, a customer is a company who is registered on the Oro Commerce front end. Each customer or company may have users which are called customer users who are registered in the system and are granted permissions and capabilities depending on their role. For more information on customers and customer users, please see our video in the media library or visit our documentation section at orocommerce.com slash documentation. A customer record contains information about a customer or company, including name, the group they belong to, the assigned sales representative, and payment terms, just to name a few. To create a new customer, navigate to the customer's menu and select customers. The customer grid displays listing information about the customer records within. Click the Create Customer button in the top right hand corner of the screen. A blank customer form displays. By default, the owner is pre-populated with the user creating the customer, but you can change this value to another user of the system. Use the drop-down to select an account related to the customer. By default, all customers are associated with an account. An account can aggregate details of all customers assigned to it, providing a 360-degree view of the customer. Fill in the customer name. If an account is selected, this new customer will now be linked with that account. Use the drop-down to select a customer group. Customer groups allow you to organize customers into groups that may share the same price lists, payment, and tax-related settings. An example would be a special price list for wholesalers or partners. Use the drop-down to select a parent customer if needed. A parent customer aggregates information from its children and is considered to be the main record to represent the customer. Select an internal rating. This field is used as an internal rating where users can rate customers based on their experience with them. This could later be used to segment data and would be helpful for marketing purposes. For example, you could send out a campaign for the store's best customers or alternatively exclude a group of customers from a particular promotion. Use the drop-down to assign a sales representative who will be assisting this customer. Select a tax code if needed. Tax codes are tax rules defined for a particular jurisdiction. An example might be for a government customer who may not be subject to the default tax rules. Add a shipping and billing address. Indicate at the top of the address box if the address is billing, shipping, and indicate if it should be the default address. You can add as many billing and shipping addresses that are needed. To add additional addresses, click the plus add button. Click on the additional link to assign a payment term. Payment terms define the conditions under which a seller will complete the sale. For example, the period of time allowed for a buyer to pay off the amount due. An example might be credit cards, COD, advance payment, or net 30 to 90 day terms. The price list section allows you to build an aggregated price list for every website you have configured in Oro Commerce. Use the tabs to switch between the websites. Select a fallback option for the customer. Fallback is a configuration setting that enables or disables access to higher level price lists. For example, if a customer's item is not available from the price list configured, it can fall back to pull the price from the group that the customer belongs to. Price list may not be available due to maintenance or the promotion for the sale price is no longer valid. Use the drop down to select a price list for the website. If you'd like to select another price list, click the plus add price list button. Use the double sided arrows to drag and drop the price in the appropriate priority order. Oral Commerce searches for the product price in the top priority price list first. 
If a price cannot be found on that list, Oral Commerce will search the next item in the next highest priority price list. The Merge Allowed checkbox allows you to configure flexible price options and allows prices to overlap. This means that when multiple price lists are available for a customer, the system will combine the price tiers of the same product for those price lists. For example, if price list 1 has product A for $46 and price list 2 has product A for $40, with Merge turned on, the customer has both price lists assigned to them. Merging will display the lower priced item displayed for the product. If you do not merge price lists, even if both price lists are available to the customer, only the higher priority price list will display for the product. Repeat the process to configure other website price lists. Click on one of the tabs to configure the website. When you are finished configuring the customer details, click the Save and Close button in the top right hand corner of the screen. You are then returned to the customer view page. From here, you can edit or delete the record or use the More Actions drop-down to perform a number of actions, such as Add Attachment, Add a Note, or Create an Opportunity. Additionally, users are able to configure the front-end menu for this particular customer. You can always click the Customer Breadcrumb to return to the Customer Grid. From the grid, you can hover over the ellipse to use the quick action items to View, Edit, or Delete the record directly from the grid. Additionally, you can click on any customer to load the customer's view page. Thanks for watching. For more video tutorials, please check out our website at www.oralcommerce.com/media-library.